I sit and I think of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum sometime and I wonder the type of connection they have yet moments before that they were at war with each other. They were at war with each other. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was known as the notorious man in Mecca. And do you know what? When he came through to accept Islam, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib was standing at the door and he sees this man, a bit of blood and his weapon and whatever else. And he says, where is the Prophet? The minute you say the Prophet, you know that this man, imagine how intelligent the people were. Because you're addressing him respectfully, you acknowledging his status. There goes. You are acknowledging his status. Where is the Prophet? Aina Rasulullah. Where is the Prophet of Allah? So Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib was allowing him in, obviously. These were big, big men, mashallah. And he says, oh Allah, this is Umar. If you intend goodness, let him accept Islam. And if he intends anything negative, make it easy for us to overcome him. Let him in. He looks at the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A, a, a few moments prior to that, he was planning the murder of the Prophet, peace be upon him. How did Allah turn the hearts? When he declared his shahada, the embracing, it happens in such a way that there is instant love after tremendous hate only by the power of Allah. Asallahu an yaj'ala baynakum wa bayna alladheena aadaytum minhum mawadda. Wallahu qadeer, wallahu ghafoorur raheem. Allah is all able and all capable of creating love between you and the one you hate and dislike in an instant. That's Allah. Allah is all able and capable and Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Allah can create it. He has done it. So they utter the shahada. There's an embrace. The same weapon that was about to be used for something else is now a means of defense of the same Islam. Within one moment, who did that? It was Allah. Allahumma ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qulubana ala deenik. Make this dua. Oh Allah, in whose hands lies the strengthening of the heart. Oh Allah, who is the strengthener of the heart, strengthen our hearts upon the deen and not away from it. Make dua.